Introduction Different life forms are present around us. Plants, insects, animals and of course the human beings. Every living thing is made up of different body parts and each part has a specific task assigned to it. In this lesson we will look at the parts of a plant body and understand their functions. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to Identify different types of plants List the parts of a plant Identify different types of roots List the functions of roots Understand the structure and function of a stem We see different kinds of plants growing around us they vary in their appearance. Some are short, while some others are tall. Some are tender, whereas some others are hard. In fact, plants can be classified into three categories as herbs, shrubs, or trees based on their characteristics. Plants are living organisms that make life possible on Earth. Plants provide fruits vegetables, flowers, wood, and medicines. Different parts of different plants are used by human beings and animals for their existence. A plant body has four main parts, root, stem, leaves, and flowers, with each part performing a specific function. Let us look at the roots and stems in greater detail. Let us begin our discussion with plant roots. Root is the underground non-green part of a plant body. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil, which are crucial for the survival of a plant. They also attach a plant to the soil for its entire life. Let us perform an activity to demonstrate the importance of roots in the life of a plant. Take two plants, A and B. Cut off the roots of plant B. Plant both the plants A and B in the soil and water them every day. After a few days, plant A appears as healthy as it was on the first day, whereas plant B appears wilted. This proves that roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and transport them to the other parts of the plant. Now try pulling the two plants out from the soil. Plant A is firmly attached to the soil because of its roots. So it is difficult to pull it out. However, plant B that has no roots comes out easily. This shows the roots anchor plants firmly in the soil. Roots are of two types tap roots and fibrous roots. Tap root is a single large root that grows straight down deep into the soil. A few small roots that branch from it are called lateral roots. For example, roots found in radish and carrot plants. Fibrous roots, on the other hand, are a cluster of fine roots that spread into the soil. For example, roots found in maize and wheat crops. A fibrous root has no main root. Drag and drop the correct options into their respective boxes. The other important part of the plant body is the stem. The stem forms the main axis of the plant body which grows towards light and away from gravity. It holds the plant body upright. It bears leaves, flowers and fruits and exposes them to sunlight and air. The stem is divided into nodes and internodes. Nodes are the swollen portion of the plant that holds buds which grow into leaves, flowers, etc. Internodes, on the other hand, are the stretches between two nodes. Roots, as you learned, 
absorb water and minerals from the soil. How does the water and minerals absorbed by the roots reach the rest of the plant body? Yes, through the stem. The stem conducts them to the leaves and other parts of the plant. It also supports the plant, enabling it to stand erect. Besides, it exposes its leaves to the sunlight. Let us perform an activity to demonstrate that stem conducts water. Take a balsam plant with roots. Put it in a pot containing colored liquid. After a while you will observe the same color in the stem, leaves, etc. of the plant. This proves that stem conducts water from the roots to the other parts of the plant body. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Plants have four important parts roots, stem, leaves and flowers. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil and anchor the plant firmly in the soil. Stem forms the main axis of the plant body and it bears leaves, birds, flowers and seeds. The stem conducts water and minerals dissolved in it from the roots to the rest of the plant body.